The convention is simple. If you're doing like an odd fix or a simple fix, you want to prefix this with fix, which is super easy. Just type fix, you know, model, for example, not appearing on click, for example, okay? If you're using something that impacts a little bit your workflow on the CI, your compose.chase, and you want to call that shore, basically, which is typically, you know, metadata, um, missing, for example, uh, CI workflow, okay? Then you have other kind of prefixes you can use, uh, potentially refactor, which is one I use a lot, typically when I change the code, but I'm not fixing anything, or I'm not also, uh, you know, adding any new features, so, or login screen, let's say this. Okay, so there's no features, there is no anything, it's really like just refactoring. Obviously we have the fit, when you are literally, you know, potentially adding a new user profile, which I always use. Let me think if I forgot anything, but I, this is, Literally, this is what I use typically. Fix, short, refactor, fit. Uh, are you, am I missing something? What do you guys think? I also use the docs one, by the way, which I, when I change the readme or I try to add any sort of documentation, I typically use the docs one as well. Uh, for example, admin uh, instructions, for example. Everything I just have said is written on paper, um, being some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of official style, call it conventional commits. So you can see the fit, you can see the, the fix as well. Um, the shore, the, the docs, the refactor, CI for CI work, perf for improving performance. Write your typical commit message on the chat. Write that below because I'm super curious to see like what do you typically write uh, on, on your commit messages, by the way. Oh my god, I knew it. Everyone is like typing fix, work in progress, whip. I just knew it. Oh my god. If you look at the commit history on GitHub, and you see like this stuff right here. It, it does look cool, you know? It does look cool. Like it, when you are about to do a release, you know, you are about to do a release and you want to understand if it's one point, if it's like, uh, you know, 2.0 or potentially 2.0.1, you just come here, you see a feed, obviously the 3.0 already, you know? If you don't see a feed, will be potentially already 2.0 because you just have to bump the minor number, okay? So if you see only refactor in docs, you don't even need to release anything because it's literally nothing at all, you know what I mean? That will impact the customer. Git cliff. Oh, you guys see how useful actually is to use a pattern like conventional commits. So apparently it basically it's a tool that grabs like feet, fix or docs or whatever. It grabs all of this and then transforms that on a change log that looks uh, beautiful for our customers. You know what I mean?